Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we will understand the linear thermal expansion. Next, we will discuss these topic in the upcoming slides. The following topics will be discussed today. The first topic is, what is the thermal expansion? The second topic is, types of the thermal expansion. The third topic is, how to calculate the linear thermal expansion. The fourth topic is, how to calculate the thermal expansion coefficient. Next, we will discuss above topics in the upcoming slides. Next, we will discuss the thermal expansion. Next, we will understand and discuss, what is the thermal expansion. Thermal expansion can be defined as the change in the length, width, height, or volume of any material on changing the temperature. An object to change its dimension in length, or volume as a result of heat is known as thermal expansion. Next, we will understand and learn the types of thermal expansion. The first type is the linear expansion. The linear expansion is defined as the increase in the length of the solid as a result of the heating process. The second type is the volumetric expansion. The volume expansion is defined as the increase in the volume of the solid as a result of the heating process. The third type is the area expansion. The area expansion is defined as the increase in surface area of the solid as a result of the heating process. Next, we will learn and understand the linear thermal expansion. The linear thermal expansion occurs when a material expands in only one dimension, typically length. The change in length, delta L, is directly proportional to the original length, L. The formula is used to calculate the linear expansion as follow as. Delta L is, equals to alpha L into L, into, delta T. Here, next, L O, is the initial length of the solid. Next, delta L, is the change in length. Next, alpha L, length expansion coefficient. Next, delta T, is the temperature difference. Next, we will learn and understand, how to calculate the linear thermal expansion. A steel rod with a length of 20 meters is subjected to a temperature increase of 50 degrees Celsius. Calculate the change in length. Here, next, LO is the initial length of the solid is 20 meter. Next, alpha L length expansion coefficient for steel is 13 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius. Next, delta T is the temperature difference is 50 degrees Celsius. Next, delta L is the change in length. We need to calculate it. The formula is used to calculate the linear expansion as follow as. Delta L is equals to alpha L, into L, into delta T. Apply the given data, we get the change in length, delta L. Delta L is equals to, alpha L into L into delta T. Change in length, delta L is equals to 13 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius, into 20, into 50. Change in length, delta L is, 0.013 meters. Change in length, delta L is, 13 millimeters. Next, we will learn and understand the linear thermal expansion. A steel beam used in construction has an original length of 100 meters. If the temperature drops by 30 degrees Celsius, calculate the change in length. Here, next, LO is the initial length of the steel beam is 100 meter. Next, Alpha L length expansion coefficient for steel is 13 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius. Next, delta T is the temperature drops is minus 30 degrees Celsius. Next, delta L is the change in length. We needs to calculate the delta L. The formula is used to calculate the linear expansion as follow as. Delta L is equals to alpha L into L into delta T. Apply the given data, we get the change in length, delta L. Change in length, delta L is equals to alpha L into L into delta T. 
change in length, delta L is equals to 13, into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius, into 100, into, minus 30. Change in length, delta L is equals to minus 0.039 meters. Change in length, delta L is equals to minus 39 millimeters. Next, we will learn and understands how to calculate the thermal expansion coefficient. 80 meters long rod is heated to 60 degrees Celsius. If the length of the rod expands to 80.01 meter, after some time, calculate the thermal expansion coefficient for length. Given room temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Here, next, LO is the initial length of the steel beam is 80 meters Next, delta T is the temperature difference is final temperature 60 degrees Celsius, minus, initial temperature 30 degrees Celsius, therefore, temperature difference is 30 degrees Celsius. Next, delta L is the change in length, the final length is, 80.01 meter, minus, initial length is, 80 meter, therefore, the change in length is 0.01 meter. Next, Alpha L length expansion coefficient. We need to calculate. The formula is used to calculate the linear expansion as follow as. Delta L is equals to alpha L into L into delta T. Apply the given data. We get the thermal expansion coefficient alpha L. Alpha L is equal to delta L is divided by initial length into delta T. Next, the thermal expansion coefficient alpha L 0.01 is divided by 80 into 30. Therefore, the thermal expansion coefficient alpha L 0.0000041666. Therefore, the thermal expansion coefficient alpha L 41.6 6, 6 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius. We hope everyone understands the formula and how to calculate the linear thermal expansion and thermal expansion coefficient alpha L. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Please like and leave a comment.